I'd like to test the serum on a live subject, but we need a good candidate. Scan the scavengers at the Paradise again. to administer the serum. We won't force it on him. You sure this is safe? It's no more dangerous than your usual stunts. Uh, hey there. Don't know what they told you. I don't have nothing. I just want to give you this medicine. It might make you feel better. Feel better? Haven't felt this good in years. I don't want your blasted medicine. If you take this, you can feel normal again. Start your life. A life of serving the Nexus? Of being bored out of my mind? No thanks. I'm free as a bird now, and damn, it feels great. Just leave me alone. Leave all of us alone. We're happy just how we are. What if your brain decays more? You can't live like this. Just take the serum. And if I say no? I won't make you, but you'd be making a big mistake. You're a pain in my ass. Fine, give me the stupid thing. Finally. I take it, you leave me alone. Now shove off. Not the first patient I've had who resisted treatment. Are they really happy this way? It's their sickness second. talking. Yeah. Is it? I wonder. I'll monitor his progress and send you my findings. You Thanks, Ryder. Detect above normal temperatures. I'm guessing even you weren't around for the Rachni Wars. Before my time, but you could still see the aftermath when I was young. Ruined cities devoured from below, smoke still pouring out of old nests, centuries after my people burned them out, and the bleached skulls of Rachni queens in the dust. from the Rachni. Nearly learned how to go extinct. Looks like they left a data pad behind. Sounds like trouble already. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Pathfinder, I'm Dirk Barrett. I speak for everyone you see here. Glad you're hearing me out instead of shooting me in the face. It never really hurts to listen. I agree. Most of the people who live here don't, as I'm sure you've noticed. They kill anything that moves, including each other. Long-term prospects for survival? Zero. I haven't lost my mind. I don't want to die. Neither do these people. That's why I need your help. It may not be wise to help a Nexus exile. The Initiative considers you enemies. What threat am I to the Initiative? Barely hanging on, targeted by the neighbors? We just want a self-sufficient community, able to defend itself and survive without stealing and killing. So what's your plan? First, we need to move. This shelter is small and can't be fortified. Another gang has taken over a base about 20 clicks from here. Beautiful setup they don't know how to use. Idiots 
taking apart the walls for scrap. If you can help us clear them out, I think we'll be good. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Pathfinder. Anything else you need to know, just ask. You and your crew aren't as violent as the other scavengers here. From the start, Eladin was about how much firepower you had. Got firepower, you can take what you want. Resulted in lots of people using their guns to get bigger guns. Eventually, I had to step back and think about what I really wanted out here, and how to get there. Turns out I wasn't the only one. Why did you come to Eladin? Seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not the smartest move. Kadara bothered some people. Sloan muscling her way into Angara territory. I guess some of us wanted to start with a clean slate. Too bad I got shit on so fast. If you manage to get a fortified base, what then? Trade, hopefully. We know the Krogan are out here. Once we're set up, we'll try to make contact. Maybe if we're really successful, the other exiles will come around and join us. I just know that anarchy is unlikely to get us very far. We need people working towards the same goal. Sounds like you're setting yourself up as leader. Or, perhaps, warlord? That's the problem with organization. Someone needs to organize. Often takes a forceful personality. The beginning's always hardest. Once you have a strong foundation, that's when you ease up. Learn to survive before working on quality of life. Know what I'm saying? Nothing else right now. I'll head out. All right. Won't keep you. Heat levels increasing. If you were an Asari commando, you'd be heading for retirement with honors by now. Ugh. Wait, would I get free booze? I don't think so. Ugh.
Drac, will you clean your armor? The smell's moving in and picking out wallpaper. Hey, if you don't like the smell, you can, um... You okay, big guy? Yeah, yeah. Just old man moment. I got a good one. Don't rush me. I'll wait. Path Pathfinder, there is still a risk of the scavengers damaging remnant cores. I suggest using your Omni tool to disable the cores. at additional remnant sites. They never make it easy for me. Let's go to those other sites.
Pathfinder, this outlaw died from a highly infectious disease. We can't let this spread to our people. Can we find the source? Possibly, if I receive more data. above normal temperatures. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. We've got hot Pathfinder, dog. I detect scavenger constructs ahead. Sam, another memory prompt? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. That canister is volatile. Shooting it will trigger a reaction. I detect above normal temperatures. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Pathfinder, a tracking signal was attached to that canister. Why? Unknown. The signal is defunct. There may be more at other scavenger sites. Clean shot. Most of me, bits drop off, stuff gets added. That's still a long time. Longer than a sorry, even. I had a lot of bastards to outlive, you know how it is. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Detect above normal temperatures. Ambient temperature is normal.
Sam, another memory prompt? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. I detect above normal temperatures. Like that was another memory gate, Sam. And the last. The final memory is unlocked. Please return to Sam Node. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface.
Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. You know you hum when you're aiming? Works for me, don't knock it. Wouldn't dream of it. Catchy tune. Why do you think I hum it? I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Life support at 100%. Oh, damn. Stasis pods from Ark Natanus. Are any of them alive? It's difficult to obtain a clear reading on all these ones. We should investigate.
No life forms detected, Pathfinder. Pod. Turian, but not their Pathfinder. Subject is a child. No match. This one's got power. Help me get it open. Pathfinder, the body has no vitals. Sam, check the pod's history. According to the final log, this stasis pod was jettisoned from Ark Natanus. Because of the scourge? The timeline doesn't match. This pod was ejected long after Natanus was reported missing. We assumed the Ark was destroyed. But maybe it's intact. The crew could still be alive. And dropping dead weight. We should finish checking the pods for Mason, then report back to Avidus. Reading, negative. Not Mason Barrow. Subject is too old. None of the pods match Mason Barrow, Pathfinder. Hopefully that means he's still alive. <laughs>